Now, let's imagine it would take billions of years to create a galaxy like the Milky Way with over 100 billion stars. Throughout billions of years, however, the James Webb Space Telescope has identified hundreds of ancient galaxies existing at the birth of the universe. Some of these galaxies have shapes resembling a magnified copy of the Milky Way, ten times larger when the universe was just over 500 million years old. In an ongoing effort to unravel the mysteries of the universe, humanity has embarked on a quest that transcends time itself. We are on a mission to find answers to age-old questions woven into the inferences and indirect evidence of scientists. Ancient galaxies with ages surpassing that of the universe itself raise more questions than they provide answers. How can a structure be older than our universe? Does the Big Bang theory have inaccuracies in explaining the uniqueness of this universe? The pursuit of understanding the universe will take us deeper into the unknown, opening doors to mysteries that challenge the very foundations of our understanding. HD 11283 the star that existed before the formation of the universe, has a story that begins with an ancient star located more than 200 light-years away from Earth. As the dawn of the universe unfolds, it nestles itself near the constellation Libra with an apparent magnitude of about 7.25. This star first came to attention in 1912 when Walter Sidney Adams measured its astrophysical properties using a spectrograph at the Mount Wilson Observatory. Since HD 11283 does not belong to the main sequence and is not a red giant, its initial position on the Hertzsprung-Russell diagram was explained through data and theoretical models of stellar evolution based on quantum mechanics and observations of millions of stars. In the year 2000, utilizing data from the European Space Agency's Hipparchos satellite, astronomers calculated that the star HD 11283 has an estimated lifespan of up to 16 billion years. This posed a significant challenge for astronomers, as the calculated age of the universe based on microwave background radiation is 13.8 billion years. This conundrum is known as the age paradox in astronomy. Perhaps due to the extraordinary nature of HD 11283, scientists have given it another name, Methuselah, after the biblical figure who lived to be 969 years old. Structurally, Methuselah is a gaseous sphere with two main components, hydrogen and helium. This aligns with its birth circumstances around 500 million years ago when the first generation of stars formed, and iron was still a rare element in the universe. However, the puzzling question is why Methuselah could exist for more than 2 billion years longer than the entire universe. Astronomer Howard Bond of Penn State University and his research team delved deeper into this issue. They scrutinized data collected by the Hubble Space Telescope from 2003 to 2011, recording the positions, distances, and energies of numerous stars. By cross-checking various scientific measurements, they hope to pinpoint Methuselah's age more accurately. Scientists believe there must be some subjective factor that led to inaccuracies in the calculations, likely stemming from errors in precisely measuring the star's distance. Conventional measurements allow them to use the star's distance and apparent brightness to calculate its actual brightness and estimate the star's age. The brighter the actual brightness, the younger the star. Distances to stars are measured using parallax, the slight shift in the position of observed stars over six months when Earth is at opposite ends of its orbit. The second cause contributing to age miscalculation comes from the theoretical model of the star, such as the accuracy of nuclear reactions in the core and the diffusion into the interior of various elements in the star's outer layers. Bond's team suggests that helium in the outer layers of the star diffuses more deeply into the core than previously estimated. As a result, nuclear fusion reactions may burn less hydrogen than predicted indicating that this star might be younger than initially thought. The third reason is attributed to the abundance of oxygen. The ratio of oxygen and iron in Methuselah might be higher than predicted. In the first few million years after the formation of the universe, oxygen was also a rare element, potentially implying that Methuselah is younger than previously estimated. After numerous observations and analyses, Bond's research team finally estimated the star's age to be 14.46 billion years, significantly reducing it from the initial figure of 16 billion years. However, with this estimate, HD 11283 is still older than the universe. Nevertheless, this estimate could have an error of about 800 million years, and Bond believes this doesn't contradict the evolutionary history of the universe. Bond's team then published a more in-depth study in 2014, narrowing down Methuselah's age to 14.27 billion plus or minus 700 to 800 million years. However, Robert Matthews, a physicist at Aston University in Birmingham, United Kingdom, felt that the star's issue wasn't as simple as it seemed. In fact, in July 2019, at the International Conference of Astrophysicists in Santa Barbara, California, USA, the question of how old the universe is once again arose.
astronomers, including 2011 Nobel laureate Adam Rees, when observing galaxies relatively close to us, discovered that the universe might be younger by hundreds of millions of years than the predictions based on microwave background radiation. The concept of the universe's age stems from the phenomenon of cosmic expansion, and this new research indicates that the universe is expanding about 10% faster than previously estimated. In 2013, through observations of the cosmic microwave background radiation by the European Space Agency's Planck Telescope, scientists calculated the age of the universe to be 13.8 billion years with an expansion rate of 67.4 km per megaparsec. However, recent measurements indicate that this value is closer to 74 km per megaparsec. This means that current measurements of the universe's expansion rate do not align with predictions based on the physics of the early universe. With an expansion rate of 74 km per megaparsec, the corresponding age of the universe would be around 12.7 billion years. After 2019, the latest estimates, even reported by the New York Times, have raised this constant to as high as 82.4, suggesting a universe with a corresponding age of 11.4 billion years. Therefore, the question of Methuselah's actual age remains unresolved. Matthews believes that astrophysicists might be misunderstanding the issue, not due to negligence, but because the observations and theories required to estimate the age of the universe are more complex than those for individual stars. He thinks that there are two sources of errors in estimating the age of the universe. One is the presence of observation errors not fully understood, and the other is errors in the model of the universe's evolution. According to the history of science, the truth often lies in both. Matthew suggests that dark energy might vary over time, a possibility proposed by physicists before, indicating that this could align with the causal set theory in quantum gravity. The actual age of the universe in cosmology and astronomy is never a conclusion. The clearest evidence for this is the quest for the true age of the universe by humanity. Scientists suggest that the age of the universe can be determined by analyzing light and various types of radiation traveling from distant space but they do not always agree on the age of the universe and continue to seek more accurate answers. With each improvement in space observation telescopes, in the 1920s, astronomer Edwin Hubble discovered a way to determine the relationship between the distance of an object based on the time it takes for light to travel from that object to Earth and the speed at which that light is moving away from Earth. Based on how much light from distant locations has shifted to red, redshift phenomenon, where light emitted from objects moving away from the observer appears redder, this figure is now known as the Hubble constant, describing the expansion of the universe at different locations. According to NASA, the Hubble constant is higher for objects farther away and vice versa. This indicates that the universe's expansion is accelerating, making the calculation of the universe's age more challenging. Currently, many scientists believe the universe to be 13.8 billion years old. They derived this number based on calculations in 2020 after re-evaluating data provided by the European Space Agency's Planck spacecraft and analyzing data collected from the Atacama Observatory in Chile. Using this calculation, the universe is approximately 100 million years older than previously estimated based on the data Planck provided in 2013. Both the Planck spacecraft and the Atacama Observatory have mapped the cosmic microwave background, CMB, the light remaining from the Big Bang explosion. By combining this data with existing models of the rates of emergence of various types of matter and celestial bodies after everything began, scientists can estimate the timeframe of the cosmic birth explosion. According to scientists, light from the cosmic microwave background, CMB, appeared around 400,000 years after the Big Bang. The universe began in a state of plasma, where photons or light were bound to electrons. Eventually, the universe cooled enough for photons to separate from electrons, leave the plasma, and wander freely throughout space, forming the CMB. By measuring the scattered light from the CMB at various distances, scientists can estimate the age of the universe. The figure of 13.8 billion years was provided by a group of scientists at the Flatiron Institute Center for Computational Astrophysics in New York, USA, in 2020. The research team re-examined the CMB using observations from the Atacama Observatory. Dr. Simona Iola, the lead researcher, mentioned that although the Atacama maps covered a smaller area compared to the Planck spacecraft maps, the higher resolution allowed for more precise measurements. Dr. Iola and colleagues made a breakthrough by observing the CMB at the smallest scale to date. This allowed them to see more details and anomalies, providing insights into what happened in the early universe and when. By comparing these high-precision maps with predictions about the age of the universe, the research team calculated the age of the universe to be 13.8 billion years. Could the universe be even older? It's a possibility. As telescopes continue to improve, becoming more modern, 
they have the potential to peer further into the past than we can currently imagine, revealing something that might change our entire understanding. Regarding the issue of uncertainties in the evolutionary model of the universe, new theories related to dark matter, dark energy, or the acceleration of cosmic expansion are currently under scientific community scrutiny and explanation. The conclusion about the accelerating expansion of the universe, based on the analysis of type IA supernovae, the spectacular explosions of dead stars recorded by the Hubble Space Telescope and numerous other large ground-based telescopes, led to the widespread acceptance of the idea that the universe is dominated by a mysterious entity called dark energy. Now, a group of scientists led by Professor Subir Sarkar from the University of Oxford has raised questions about this fundamental proposition of cosmology. Using massive data, a catalog of 740 type IA supernovae, which is 10 times the number used in previous studies, researchers found evidence suggesting that the acceleration may not be as clear as previously thought. The data indicates that the rate of cosmic expansion remains constant. Professor Sarkar, who also holds a position at the Niels Bohr Institute in Copenhagen, believes that the discovery of the accelerated expansion of the universe has garnered the Nobel Prize, the Gruber Cosmology Prize, and the Breakthrough Prize in Fundamental Physics. It led to widespread acceptance that the universe is dominated by dark energy. However, with a much larger data set of supernovae for rigorous analysis and statistics, scientists analyzed the latest catalog containing 740 supernovae, more than 10 times the sample size used in previous breakthrough discoveries. Through this, they found evidence that the accelerated expansion is not quite reaching the standard required to confirm a fundamental study. Other data support the idea of accelerated expansion in the universe, such as information about the cosmic microwave background, CMB, obtained from the Planck satellite. All these experiments are indirect, conducted within the framework of an assumed model, and the CMB does not directly experience the impact of dark energy. Therefore, it is possible that we have made a mistake, and the existence of dark energy is just a consequence of analyzing a simplistic theoretical model built in the 1930s, long before real data became available. A more complex theoretical framework, like in observation, suggests that the universe may be inhomogeneous, and that its matter does not behave like an ideal gas. Two fundamental assumptions of cosmology. This could explain all observations without the need for dark energy. Indeed, vacuum energy is something we understand very little about in terms of fundamental theory. Naturally, much more research would be needed to convince the physics community of this, but Sarkar's group's research serves to demonstrate the instability of a pillar of physics. The researchers also found that although the universe's expansion has been accelerating for billions of years, the driving force of dark energy may be diminishing. According to their model, the universe's acceleration could rapidly cease within the next 65 million years, after which, within 100 million years, the universe might stop expanding entirely and instead enter an era of contraction. This era could be either a death or a rebirth of time and space. Another issue complicating the determination of the true age of the universe is dark matter and dark energy. It seems that the capabilities of current models and theories in explaining observations and evidence have reached their limits. From the micro-scale of atomic particles to the macro-scale of the cosmic extent, contradictions arise at every turn. Before the issue of the universe's accelerated expansion became a fiercely debated topic, leading to the rebranding of the cosmological constant as dark energy the mass of matter in the standard cosmological model also posed a heap of intricate problems. The term dark matter is now commonly used to describe that missing mass. To account for this, scientists began searching for heavy, weakly interacting particles, a type of matter challenging to observe or detect but possessing strong gravitational effects. So far, potential candidates continue to elude discovery, and no standard cosmological theory indicates where this mass of dark matter might currently be hiding. Continuing with the list of prominent issues is dark energy. Although it shares a name resemblance with dark matter, the two are fundamentally different. Dark energy is related to the problem of the expanding universe and contributes to explaining why seemingly illogical stars, like Methuselah, continue to be discovered. In the late 1990s, observations of more distant celestial bodies indicated not only that all galaxies were moving farther apart but also that the rate of this expansion was increasing. It appears that galaxies are accelerating away from each other. In physics, acceleration is known to occur only when a force is acting. Therefore, 